I have the cochlear implant in one ear. Mm -hmm. That's pretty steady. I will always have progressive loss in my right ear, which is just a regular hearing aid. And as for my vision, um, it's closing in. So right now I can only see like, if I'm looking at you, I can only see your face. I used to be a union electrician in Chicago and I've always had the hearing loss. It was a prog progressive loss. And about 10 years ago, I started having issues and being diagnosed with retina pigmentosa and I couldn't do the construction anymore because it was just too dangerous. So I, I went on disability and then I went through a, a group called vocational rehab and I wanted to go back to work. I couldn't sit at home and they said, well, why don't you, you try Helen Keller? And that's, that's pretty much how I got started here. Helen Keller mm -hmm. National Center's mission is to improve the quality of life of all deaf-blind individuals who live here in America. We do that by providing vocational rehabilitation training that will encourage deaf-blind people to live and thrive as well as work in their community of choice. So we're at Zellig Ziegelbaum Physical Therapy. This is an outpatient orthopedic office. We work with all kinds of diff, uh, populations, be it orthopedic injuries, post-operative to geriatric patients. We also work with neuro patients and uh, pediatrics. Um, Helen Keller is you know, in the neighborhood, which is really a great thing for us in Port Washington. Um, they do amazing work and we're you know, thrilled that we've been able to work with them for over 10 years. So Ravi is an integral part of our team. He does very important work making sure that the office is organized and well maintained and essentially is making sure that the office runs at a high level for all of us. For many organizations that work with folks, it might be that they specialize and have skills uh, supporting the learning of adults and youth who are blind, or perhaps it's with individuals who are deaf. Here at the National Center, we have very specialized approaches and strategies and techniques that support people with a combined vision and hearing loss is not just uh, learning skills and being a part of you know, the different areas of mobility, independent living, communication, you know, employment training. Um, you know, these adaptive skills are certainly part of the overall picture. But many times people are looking at a transformation of, of their life, of what their life was at one time and, and really, you know, a new, a new way of being, um, of doing. Um, it sometimes is a time, a threshold of a new self-identity. There are many, many different types of challenges that do come up for a deaf-blind individual. The most important challenge is access. Without vision or hearing, a person's world is diminished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for a deafblind person to receive mm -hmm. access, mm -hmm. that requires mm -hmm. a good-hearted individual, mm -hmm. and it does require humanity mm -hmm. of other people.